Oh. Oh, it's okay. Mama. Stop it. It's a bell. Oh, it's gone. It's a bit. No, it hasn't. I want something. Wait, get my phone for me then. What? Can I get my phone for me? Where? It's just on the bed. Oh god, Hello, children. Don't get my phone then. <sighs> Mummy, right. we're filming the video. Well, it's actually, you're not even supposed to be in this video. It's got nothing to do with you. And look at your hair. Look at your face. Covered <laughs> in your dinner. <laughs> you broke my eyes. Oh, sorry. You made me that stuff. Oh, dear. <laughs> Look at the state of you. Cheese. Boto. Cheese. <laughs> Alright, you go sort yeah, yourself up when we get some live here. Lucy. <laughs> Come on. Go sort yourself up. Oh, I've got this cheat now. Go sort yourself up for the video that we're going to film. Hello, everyone. Lola. Lola. and welcome back to my channel Spotted Lola <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel So for today's video I'm going to be answering your guys' assumptions or rumours that you have like heard about me and telling you obviously whether they're true or not and then answering the assumptions and um, I've seen a few youtubers do this it all started really on Instagram and um, with their new questions feature I've been doing it on there like non-stop I absolutely love answering like questions and things like that on there so if you don't follow me on Instagram definitely should um, I'll link it down below and it'll be on the screen now um, but I also watched Gabby's video um, where she answered rumours about her um, and I thought that I would do the video as well. I also saw Byron, he did one as well. Byron did an assumptions video. So yeah, I just thought I would do one. I also did ask you guys on Instagram what videos you wanted to see and a lot of them were an assumptions video. So without further ado, let's just get on with the video. Okay, so I've screenshot all of the questions, not all of the questions, but like the questions that I'm going to answer. So I think there's about 12 questions. Um, so yeah, I've screenshot them and I'm going to put them on the screen. Um, so if you guys have like, asked me the question, you will be able to see who has asked me the question. Um, I made sure that like none of them were like really bad because I feel like some people obviously might not want their name to go straight, but anywho. The first assumption is that I have a boyfriend and that assumption is incorrect. No, I do not have a boyfriend. I have not had a boyfriend for over a year. <laughs> Sad life, I know. Um, it doesn't really face me that much, but it would be nice to have a boyfriend, you know. So if anyone wants to slide my way, then feel free. The second assumption slash rumour that I got was I love to sing, so why don't I start making videos of me singing? That is correct. I do actually really enjoy doing like singing and like acting and dancing, those kind of things. I did them for my GCSE and my like A levels. Um, so well, I only did singing for my A levels. I didn't do singing for GCSE, but I do really enjoy doing singing. And I do want to do like a cover or something on my channel, but I want it to be like really good, <laughs> like not like. And I don't know how to explain it, but like I do, like there's nothing obviously against this and like I'm not shaming anyone who does it. Like for example, has one of my really close friends, she does sing videos on YouTube where she just literally sits in front of a camera and just sings. But personally, I would, I'd rather it be like properly recorded and then I can make like a funky video to it and then upload it because I don't want to look back and think, oh my god, why the hell did I post that? I want to look back and think, oh my god, that was so good, I'm so happy I posted that. Because to me, it's one of them things, like, not everyone knows, no one's really heard me sing. I mean, I posted, like, a video snippet on my Instagram story for my best friend's birthday um, a few weeks, a few weeks, a month ago now. Um, so, like, some of you will have heard me 
somewhat sitting. But yeah, it's just one of those things that like I've kept like private. And, like I don't really like singing in front of people. Like if someone asked me to sing in front of them, I could not do it. But then if I was on stage and I couldn't see anyone, I could do it. It's a, it's a weird thing. Um, but yeah, see is one of them things like you can get a lot of hate for. So I'd rather it be something that I'm at least very, very proud of. So then if I did get any hair, I'd be like, well, I don't care. I really like it, so. The next question, right, the next assumption, right, honestly guys, <laughs> I don't know where you're all assuming this from, and the amount of people who assumed it is ridiculous. Um, but I had so, Many and I'm literally I'm gonna put them on the screen like some of the ones that I screenshot asking about me and Jed um Jed Barker which is Saffron's brother um saying like are we dating have we kissed or anything like that answer is no <laughs> no and no I don't fancy Jed um I've never kissed Jed nothing has ever happened between me and Jed he's a nice boy he's good looking yeah whatever but like nothing has happened between us um not only that but jed's two years younger than me so i feel like that'd be a bit weird like on my half if i was like anything with him you know just personal preference um but yeah nothing is going on between me and jed trust me so many people have asked me this it was ridiculous so yeah to clear that up nothing is going on with me and jed <laughs> jess said that you are an alcoholic. Um, I wouldn't quite call myself an alcoholic. However, I do enjoy drinking, but drink responsibly, kids. Um, we all know Jasmine's made a few mistakes when she's drunk. Exhibit uh, money. Um, so yeah, drink responsibly. Literally, you guys think that I'm like this absolute wreckhead, which I'm not. <laughs> I'm not, trust. Um, I do go out quite a bit because obviously I've just turned 18, all my friends have just turned 18, so there's been like a lot of celebrations this year, um, but like I can guarantee you over the next year I will not be going out as much as like I have been going out, just because all my friends are off to uni and I'm not, so <laughs> who am I going to go out with? I mean I've got a few friends with me, don't get me wrong, like they're not all moving away, but definitely won't be going out as much as we have done this year because obviously this year we've just been celebrating everyone's 18th so we have been going a little bit wild but yeah I'm going to be tamed next year hopefully Alice said you hated school and don't go anymore so I wouldn't say I hated school because hate's a strong word and I like literally don't really hate anything um but I did dislike school not the part of it like being with my friends and like having a laugh and things like that like I absolutely loved that and like I enjoyed like not having like any responsibilities and things like that but I just hated the lessons <laughs> like I just hated the workload like I can't stress to you guys enough how like I just can't as you guys will have known as well like I got very very stressed um, especially in college and I actually lost like a lot of my hair like it's ridiculous how much of my hair I lost like this might not seem thin to you guys because I did used to have like I do have oh, it's not even thick but like that is all my hair whereas like oh it's just silly because this to some people will be thick but I'm only like lucky because I used to have really thick hair that it doesn't seem like I've lost that much hair but I know personally I have lost so much hair Um, I'll see if I can maybe put a picture on the screen that like shows like how thick my hair is and like this is like all my hair to one side like I'd li like literally it's tiny it's this whereas like my hair before was just oh it was just so nice so voluminous which I just love my old hair and it's like as well like I keep wanting to go back blonde but there is no chance I'm going back blonde now because I've lost so much hair and I really want my hair back in a healthy state so I've been taking like supplements and things like that but yeah that's the only reason I didn't like school and things like that it's just because it just didn't do very well for me up here. I just don't really like the workload and I just think YouTube and like just doing what I want is like what I want to do so hope that answered your assumption. Girl just said that Jasmine loves to get drunk. True but again drink responsibly kids and I don't like 
this is the thing as well. I feel like some of you guys think I get drunk to the point where like I'm being sick, I'm like throwing up everywhere, I can't move. I'm never like that, like literally ever. I just get to the point where like I'm merry, I'm having a good time with my friends. And like that's the thing as well, like I will, so like I'll get, I'll have drinks, at uh, pre-drinks, this is what we do. We have pre-drinks where we get drunk and then we go out into town and then we just get like a few drinks to top us up. Whereas a lot of people will pre-drink and get drunk and then continue to drink, 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 drink when they're out. I don't do that, no. I'm a more get drunk and then just have one drink every now and again just to keep me topped up. So yeah, I don't, I'm not like an absolute wreckhead where like I'm on the bathroom floor every weekend being sick into a toilet. The only time I've been like that was my 18th birthday and that was because I wasn't buying my own drinks. So I had no idea where these drinks were coming from, what was in these drinks and how many drinks I was having. So yeah, Lily said, you have failed your A-levels. I actually didn't fail my A-levels. I actually thought I was gonna fail one of them. But I don't really talk about like my A-levels, my results, and things like that, like school, because like it's not really something that I enjoy and it's not really something that I wanna talk about like that much, just because I don't really wanna talk about it. But I didn't I didn't fail. Um I actually got two distinction stars in singing and like acting. It was well it's core, but it's call it acting because that's what we did in it and then I got a merit in dance so I didn't actually do like proper A levels I did B text but yeah they're like equivalents Daisy said your last name is pronounced cloud like cloud without the D and that is actually incorrect right so so many of you guys actually get our name wrong like our last name wrong our last name is actually pronounced cluff so like c-l-u-f-f cluff like fluff but with a cl at the beginning, not cloud, not cloud. Literally, I've heard it all. Like, I even have people ringing me on the phone, like business people, like, hello, Miss Cloud, how can I help you? And I'm like, that's not my name. <laughs> my name's Clough. <laughs> C L O U G H. C L U F F. Clough. Uh, so, yeah, but obviously, if you guys call me that, I literally have no problem with it. I did, like, it literally just pierces me, like, that many people say it. That it's just like a regular thing. But for those of you that do actually want to know how to say my name correctly, it's Cluff. So C L U F F. But it's actually spelled C L O U G H. So yeah. Pip said, You aren't going to uni in September slash October. That is correct. I'm not going to uni this year. Um, I don't think I'll probably ever go to uni. Um, just not really for me. Like I said, didn't really enjoy like school life and like all the workload and things like that. So I just knew that I wouldn't enjoy uni and that like sort of environment. Um, a lot of my friends were obviously off to uni, but I'm still not. Um, if I was gonna go to uni, it would probably be for something like musical theatre or like dance, things like that. But then them subjects are so competitive that I'm like, I literally cannot be bothered. Like I'm not that into it to compete for it. So yeah, that's why I'm not going to uni. Uh, finally, Abby said, you sometimes feel insecure about yourself. This is true. Um, I feel like a lot of the time you guys think obviously us YouTubers have perfect lives or whatever, but like just like you guys, we are obviously normal people. We go through the exact same struggles. Um, I don't tend to put like a lot of like my feelings or like emotional status or like things like that online just because I like to keep it more private and personal. I just that's just me. Um Obviously, like, I've spoke uh, quite a bit about, like, my hair loss and things like that. And I'm going to plan on doing more videos like that because, obviously, I've realised when I have such a big platform like I do, if I'm going through something, there's probably somebody else going through it as well. And I do want to, like, share my experiences to maybe help someone else. Um, so, yeah, I'm obviously going to, like, open up a little bit more about, like, my hair and things. But I don't know. I've just always found, like, opening up about, like, my feelings and things like that quite difficult. Um... So yeah, and obviously I do get insecure sometimes. Um, there are days like where I literally do not want to get out of bed. There are days where I'm really sad. There are days where I'm really happy. Everything is like a roller coaster of emotions in my life. I'm not even kidding. Um, even my music is a roller coaster of emotions. But yeah, um, I do feel insecure sometimes. But so why shouldn't I? Everybody does, and it's not something to be ashamed of. Um, so yeah, if you are feeling insecure, don't be ashamed of it. There is always someone to talk to, even if you don't feel like talking. There is someone there, literally I tell my best friend Jazz literally everything and I tell Sophie everything as well. They, them two like literally know everything about me. Um, but yeah, 
Uh, that is it for today's video. I really hope you did enjoy it. If you did, as always, remember to give it a huge thumbs up down below. Leave me any more like rumours or assumptions in the comment section down below and I will reply to as many as I can. Let me know if I answered your assumption or rumour in this uh, video as well in the comment section down below and hopefully I will see you very, very soon with another video. Bye!